All right, folks, this is the Monoprice Mini Delta 3D printer. And if you like a lot of people, you have problems setting it up using um, the software Cure. So this video is going to show you how to get the printer set up and going and how to set up the software on, on Cure to get good prints. All right. So before starting to set up the software, what I do suggest first is you take the micro SD card that came with the unit, which is this little fellow right here, and you insert it into the side here, this little slot here. After doing that, you go through the menu, which are the, the guy of these three buttons right here, this selection button, this is the up and down, which will take you left and right. So right now we're already set on print, so we're good. You select print, and then it's gonna be the top file. The top file is auto00.g. That's the file you wanna print, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now the print's gonna go through the warm-up cycle where it gets to I believe it's at 200 something degrees. It says it right on the screen. I just can't see it from here because I'm kind of going from memory. So once it heats up, you're gonna see what a, what it looks like when the print starts up. It'll go through and it'll test all three of these points. There are tactile buttons under these to make sure, they're, um, under these to make sure it's calibrated correctly. So it's gonna go through and it's gonna to touch the tip of each one of these. If you can hear that click. It's gonna click each one, let you know that it's calibrated and then it's gonna start in the center and work its way to start the print. Well, let's go ahead and let it go down. But before it does the whole print, I'm gonna cancel it before it does the whole thing. And there we go, and it starts up. If it touches all three points and starts to fine, you know you have everything set up correctly. All right, and, and if it's not set up, you will hear these noises. All right, now that you guys see what it looks like when the sequence starts up correctly, what it looks like when it starts up wrong, let's move over to the computer and I'll show you guys all the steps to get your cure set up correctly to get good prints out of this puppy. First thing you want to do is open your browser and go to the Cura Ultimaker website and download version 3.2.1. Now you don't have to try to memorize any of these um, links. I'm going to put it in the direct in, in the description below. All right. So of course, install the software. Go through all the normal steps. Everything, all the default settings are, are fine. You don't have to change anything. Just continue to hit next and let it install. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and hit finish so it can launch the program. Leave that part checked. You need to let the program launch at least once. So this add printer part, just go ahead and click custom and then go ahead and select add printer so it'll allow you to actually close the program. All right, now that the program's closed, you're gonna go to this other website, I'll put it in the link in the description below, and you're gonna download the zip file from the top. The profile that says profile for version 3.2.1. Extract up in the profile, and it's gonna give you a link directly to the folders you need to access. So go ahead and click on those two shortcut links to open those folders. What I like to do is go ahead and drag them to the side, keep both folders open that way I can copy and paste the needed content the necessary content into both of those folders so now that both folders are open make your way back to where you extracted the files at which should be in your download folder those three folders at the top that don't have the shortcut indications right click and copy those three folders and paste them in the first one and then move over the second will ask you to override it and hit replace the files. Now that both profiles are in there, you can actually open up the Cura software and find your printer. Okay, once Cura opens up, it's gonna ask you to update the software. Do not update the software. This profile only works for version 3.2.1. All right, so just close both of those off and always ignore them. Now you go into your settings, and then from settings, you want to go to add printer. 
drop down to other and scroll down and you'll see it the mini um the mini delta in a selection and you will see the profile update right on the screen it'll go to the same build plate and um the short you see that around with the indicating edges from there your printer's ready to go you can print wherever you want but what I suggest you do is actually go to Thingiverse, find yourself a Benji, whatever one of your choices, go to Thingiverse, type in Benji. I'll put the link in the description of one I'm going I'm going to use. But download your Benji, load it onto the SD card, and test out your printer and see if you have any issues. For some reason, the Benji I selected was a little bit larger than needed to be. So from there, you can select scale and adjust the Benji to the correct size. And then if you select move and just set all the settings to zero down the line, it'll drop and be and it'll be flush with the base. Once you have it to the right size, the software is going to slice it. And if you look in the lower right hand corner, it'll give you the option to save the file to your SD card that you have um, plugged into your computer. Once the SD card is once the file is saved to the SD card, you just take it over to your printer. And let's do that so we can go ahead and get this printed. So now that we went through the entire setup process, we went online, we, we got our Benchy, and we have it loaded on here with the correct cure settings. Let's go ahead and load the SD card in and see how things turn out. Just want to make sure you can see it here, get it in focus. All right, so we're going to go through the exact same process. We're going to go into the print, center key is select, and then we're going to go into the, um, right here, into the file. Select the file, and it's the moment of truth. So once it warms up and it goes down and does a three-point test and it starts print, you know we're good to go. And everything is set up correctly and have really good prints from there. Alright folks, the print is done. Let's see if I can get this puppy off. This thing in here is pretty good on here. I recommend when you do use this printer, make sure you turn on rafts. I didn't do that with this print, and you're going to see how tough it is to get it off without using um, a raft. See how much it took? This one snapped right off. Alright, let's get some stringing off of here. This is the first time I printed this Benchy. I usually go with the other boat. I just wanted to try this little boat out to see how it looks. Um, I've printed other Benchies on this and they turn out just fine. This one has, seems to have a lot more stringing in it. It could be the filament too. It's my first time printing with this filament on this printer. And first time printing actually in general, but if you remove all the stringing, the detail is actually really good. It has all the little lines left from the deck the little windows and ladders. So I'm going to come up close. I said this is the profile. It comes preloaded on the SD card. That's the detail there. And 
This is the Benchy. I grabbed off a Thingiverse. Right here. So like I said, it's my first time printing this Benchy. There's a lot of string in few if it focuses in, you can see it has all the like the little ladders, all the decking, the little window. And I said besides the stringing, this print came out pretty good. And to put things in perspective a little bit, I'm gonna grab an, um, other prints that I printed off this profile besides that the Benchy. I printed this Spider Man. And I've sh actually showed this in one of my order videos. This skull. This bender. All right, so that's how you set up your monoprice mini delta. Please, um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. And like and subscribe for more. So always have a great day.